If you remember the Gospels of the last few days, we find one after the other, the Herodians, the Pharisees and the scribes creating controversies. But today in the Gospel, the Lord himself creates a controversy to challenge, just to challenge the understanding of the Jews about the Messiah. To, st to stretch their mind and make them realize what they really believe and what is wrong with what they believe. They were expecting the Messiah to be the son of David coming in the lineage of David and they would call him son of David. So Jesus asked them the Messiah to be son of David? Really? Son of David? What does it mean if the Messiah is son of David the father is greater than the son? So David would be greater than the son. Your logic is a faulty logic because David himself said Psalm 110 Jesus quoting Psalm 110 he tells them what did David say do you remember you say the Messiah would be son of David what does David say about the Messiah David says my Lord said to my Lord David calls the Messiah, the coming Messiah, my Lord. So David knows the one who is coming is greater than me. The one who is coming is greater than me. And now you say the one who is coming is smaller than you are David? No, greater than all the king of kings. He is the king of kings. My dear friends, our understanding of God, or image of God, is shaped by our expectations. The Jews who were waiting for a political messiah, like their beloved King David, because they were under the rule of the Romans. So they were waiting for a liberation from the Romans and waiting for a political, powerful king. Their needs shaped their understanding of, of the Messiah. The same way our, our needs may shape our understanding of God. You may think of God as a Santa Claus. You pray, you expect something and he, 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 he we, we expect him to do certain things. We pray and we expect him to answer our prayers. Because the needs are there. I need this, so Lord, please do something about it. I have this illness, Lord, please do something about it. So our needs will shape our understanding. So God is like, whatever you need, he is supposed to provide. Is that your understanding of God? Or oh, go beyond that. The Lord of the universe, the King of kings, the one who is ruling over this whole universe, the one who is concerned about the little sparrow in the garden, he is concerned about the sparrow. He is concerned about the sparrow. What about you? He's concerned about the lily in the valley, that little tiny, even this tiny flower. The Lord is watching over this little flower and delighting over it. That's my creation. That's my creation. That tiny flower there is my creation. The tiny sparrow, that's my creation. And every hair on your head has been counted. Oh, God can do it. The point here is, 
we have to go beyond our little needs needs are okay we we have the aches and pains and we have some needs and we but go beyond god knows everything god knows everything in your heart in my heart my feelings my sorrows my concern he, he knows everything so why should i worry too much if this ache is supposed to be part of my life if this headache is part of my life is meant to be a blessing for me the god of us knows this headache i have is good for me then so be it that is faith so don't let your needs shape your understanding of god instead believe in the infinite infinite wisdom of god who does everything from his love god is love and everything comes from his love